high percentage of small businesses fail. So it's no surprise the dragons drive a hard bargain given the risks they're taking. So will they want to take a chance with our next entrepreneur, Martin Wadsworth from Atherton near Manchester. Right, where to start? My name is Martin Wadsworth. I'm looking for £150,000 for a 10% stake. The company is Discrete Heat and we've uh, developed, designed, patented and are currently manufacturing and selling a very innovative and energy efficient form of room heating. The two main protagonists in the room space heating market are radiators and underfloor heating and I'm sure you're familiar with both of those. The radiator market is £180 million in the UK. The downside of radiators is they are universally disliked by the, the homeowner and they're not particularly energy efficient because of the way they convect the heat rather than radiate the heat. So, my proposition to you today is a central heating system that is as simple uh, to install as a radiator, as responsive as a radiator, it feels like underfloor heating when it's on. It can be retrofitted into existing properties as well as fitted into new and has been independently tested and proven to be more energy efficient than both radiators and underfloor. I'm not going to tell you about my product. I'm actually going to demonstrate it to you because it's actually here working now. So the first thing I'll do is remove the radiator as indeed a great many people would do. And I'd like you to actually come and try it if you would. <coughs> it's actually here and it's working right now. You've got some sort of heating system behind the skirting board? No, it is the skirting board. It is the skirting board. The skirting, the skirting, skirting board, board actually is the heating system. Inventor Martin Wadsworth has devised an ingenious new heating system that disguises a radiator as a normal skirting board. Now, in exchange for 10% equity, he needs £150,000 to expand the business. James Kahn wants to get down to numbers. What's the average size of a room? Four by four. Okay, and the cost of putting tubing round a standard room yeah. and a radiator costs how much? A standard radiator for a 4 before room is about a hundred pounds supply only. Okay. And if I bought your product with the skirting board around a standard room, what's the difference in... It's about 400 to 430 pounds. Okay. So if people who are purchasing this product, it's four times more expensive... Yes. ...than the convention, why would they do that? Well, two reasons. One is they don't particularly like the radiators on the wall in the first place. I agree with that, yeah. And secondly, it's a more practical alternative to underfloor heating because taking up your floors sure. is, uh, is, is not practical in, in most applications. So we sort of price the products to fall between the two. Okay. I actually think it's a great idea as a concept. It looks pretty neat to me. Martin's composure is holding under the pressure. But what's unique about his heating system? Deborah Meaden wants to know. Uh, you've hit me at quite a good moment because I've just been through exactly this process of what type of heating do I put in the house. Is it protected? Yes, we have patented the ovality. We've patented the clip which holds the connectors into the skirts themselves. The bottom piece is designed to come off so if you're retrofitting laminate and carpet to an existing property you can get right under, you don't have the timber beads. You can hide your audio, visual and speaker cables around the room without having to bury them under the carpet. The top gasket comes off for painting and decorating, so from the house builder's point of view, they're not corking the top of the skirting, because it's already done for you. And obviously they don't have to be quite so precise as putting it into, and that's patented. Martin. Yes? Sounds very simple, but there are drawbacks, aren't there? No? Well, there, well I'm waiting to hear what you think the drawbacks are. Why don't you tell me? What I think the drawbacks are, mm. So you want me to talk about the problems in my product? Yeah. Uh, but you, you, you've, uh, okay. You've identified that you think there's drawbacks, and I would ask you to just tell what you think okay. they are. 
If you tried to do this retro, it would cost a fortune. Why? To, well, okay, if you can come into my house and set all the radiators off, yeah. redecorate, repaint, re-wallpaper and fit this without a lot of cost, then come and do it. Well, if you give me the address, I'll come round. Okay, so let's talk about your turnover and profit in your company. Okay. In your first year, what was your turnover and profit? £158,000 turnover. Profit? Net loss, 188000 Year two? Uh, well, we've done six months so far, and we've done 300000 forecasting a small profit of 8000 at the end of year two. So, but today you've made a huge loss on this company. Yes. How have you financed it? I funded it myself. So how much have you put in this company so far? About 400,000. It's a robust entrepreneur who stands up this well to a bout of verbal sparring with Duncan Bannatyne. But Peter Jones is troubled by the 400,000 pounds Martin has already sunk into the business.